Bowman here from BW1.com and we're going to do a hardware tour of the Logitech Review. So yesterday we did an unboxing I'm just going to quickly go over the accessories that came with it once again. Here we have the IR blaster. You have your HDMI cable here. This is your power adapter, your adapter here and the power cable for it. And the most important accessory, the keyboard. Pretty interesting keyboard here. It's definitely bigger than the Sony Internet TV keyboard, as it's pretty much a full keyboard. And it, and it types pretty good so far. I would expect that from Logitech since they make a lot of uh, PC accessories, so I expect the keyboard to work pretty well. You have uh, dedicated buttons for TV Guide, DVR, and you know, uh, much larger optical trackpad. The trackpad right here is much larger, so you can use the on-screen keyboard a lot better. You have your dedicated buttons here, directional buttons, and play, pause, rewind here on this side. And um, overall, the keys are spaced out pretty well and they're raised just well enough so you can type on it. Feels good when you type down on it so far. And you can see it's very, very thin. It's giving us an idea how thin it is. I'll definitely have pictures available at bw1.com. Back here is where it's pretty much at its thickest, and this is where they pretty much hold the, the AA batteries right here. It takes two AA batteries. And that's pretty much it for the keyboard. We'll get a little more in depth with that later on. Now let's do a quick hardware tour around. You can see here the box is pretty light. Don't really have anything in the front. Um, the top part is a sort of a shiny plastic covering. And we'll take a look here on the back. This is pretty much where all the action is. You have your connect button for, uh, to synchronize um, different Logitech devices that can interact with this. So if you got the sort of the smaller uh, remote kind of kind of keyboard thing that they have, you can you can uh, sync it with this as well. You have HDMI in, IR blasters two USB ports, you have your Ethernet port, HDMI out, digital optical, and your power port right there. That's pretty much it for ports. Inside it does come with an Intel Atom processor and does have and it does have Google TV as far as the software. So that's pretty much it for the hardware tour. Um, we'll definitely um, do some comparisons between this and the Sony Internet TV. We'll do a whole lot of different stuff with it. Um, be sure to check out all the videos that are going to come out. Definitely have a final review available to you guys. And um, yeah, just stay tuned and make sure you subscribe to our YouTube page, follow us on Twitter, head over to bw1.com, we'll have pictures and a quick write-up of the hardware tour, and always remember to live your tech world in high definition.